Hello, my name's Karen Thomas and I work for Coastal Partnership East. I head up the partnership which undertakes coastal management work for Great Yarmouth Borough Council, North Norfolk District Council and East Suffolk Council. On the question of what the Break the Bias campaign means to me, I think I would say uh, real equality, real equality across our flood management sector. Uh, and that should be irrespective of your gender, your faith, your disability or any stereotypes. And in my view, it's about being kind and respectful and educating yourself about those around you. Or as my grandma would say, treat others the way you would wish to be treated yourself. The Women in Flood and Coastal Risk Management Network means a lot to me. I'm very proud to have been awarded the Women in FCRM Award for 2021. It's, a really, it's really wonderful to be acknowledged for the work that you do, uh, especially by your peers. Um, but it also represents something more for me, which I think many women I speak to face, and that is acknowledgement that we can be confident in our approach and make a difference in our own way, whatever body or skin we're operating out of. I don't think many women are at work right now thinking about what it is to be a woman uh, in FCRM. We're just getting on with our work and hopefully we're all doing it really well. But I guess the points where we do tend to notice our gender is often when something hasn't quite gone right, maybe when we then feel less confident about ourselves. And many women I speak to, myself included, express this self-doubt from time to time. Uh, I think this can often be compounded in women as we face quite a lot of physical changes throughout our life and our career. Uh, and that can affect the way that we perceive ourselves and our role in society and at work. Um, and therefore this group can be a big support to us, a safe space to have discussions, and an opportunity to raise our concerns about gender equality, whatever your gender, but also a place to celebrate our achievements and each other. The support and friendship I receive from those who work in FCRM, who recognise the need for equality, again, whatever their gender, always lifts me and keeps me on track. And I aim to reciprocate that too, when people need that from me. Women in FCRM is a platform to champion change and uh, that should be whenever it's needed and show future generations that we've got a role to play in keeping um, FCRM a place that has a level playing field. With regard to what bias still exists in our sector, um, I've discussed this briefly with our team and I think it is there, sadly, um, because otherwise we wouldn't need to break the bias campaign. Um, so how do we overcome it? Uh, we need to really be thinking about breaking down the root causes of bias and targeting those. Uh, one area of uh, interest, I think, is unconscious bias. It can be hard baked into organisations and individuals. It's quite hard to tackle at an individual level. Um, so I think one way we could tackle it is to ask our employers to offer training that challenges unconscious bias. We've certainly taken part in this training at CPE with our local authorities, and it's really powerful. In my experience, when we hold up evidence of inequality, it's often not been obvious to others that they have a bias and due to their own life experiences. Often a discussion through something neutral like a training session can lead to a really positive outcome. I think we also need to recognise that women are still underrepresented in the sector and look back at the roots into the industry. Uh, with less than 35% of women taking up STEM subjects at a young age, uh, which we need to support many of our FCM roles, we're always going to struggle to recruit women. So engaging early in schools is key so girls can meet role models and see it as a career that they can aim for and succeed in. At the same time, we also need to reach out to the women who stepped off the career ladder um, as primary caregivers for children or other family members and offer them routes back into the sector or to join the sector with flexible working and training options. Their life experiences are incredibly useful and make them very valuable team players. And because we work closely with communities and businesses, it's really important that our workforce is as diverse and representative of those that we are working with and for. Finally, as head of a coastal partnership uh, and in my capacity as a leader, we must encourage modelled behaviours and lead by example, create equal opportunities and a culture that breaks any workplace or societal bias. 
In my view, we all do our best work when we collaborate our skills and focus on an outcome together. I think we all know that climate change is our biggest threat, but it's also our common purpose. It's a challenge that requires us all to bring our A game and focus on the outcomes we need to deliver, which are more resilient communities, businesses and environments. And we need to do that together. Sadly, time and tide may really don't wait for any man or woman. And we're only going to tackle this challenge if we're all in a position to contribute equally. So that time has to be now. Thank you.